new neighbour. Hi, Lily. Hey, Lily. Some new old friends. Mr. Malone! A new, not quite, friends. I mean, who are you and why are you here? But life is still kind of crazy. This is almost too much to take. Still a bit embarrassing. <laughs> and still so awkward. That was the most disastrous moment of my entire life! Starts Monday at 5 on CBBC and BBC iPlayer. Got anything to say about this? I bet a yellow might have frightened it up. <laughs> There's nothing funny about graffiti, Tracy. And if I find that you. I've got to go! Tracy, I haven't finished! But I have! I'm going out of camp today! And you can't stop me getting out of this dump. I'll easily escape you. <laughs> to Jenny yet. Cam's phone. No, she's not here. Martha Leach from Ellison Leach. Yeah, I'll tell her. Are you the estate agent? Of course she wants to see the flats. All of them. I can just imagine the kind of place we're going to pick. It's a surprise, isn't it? What? You're moving, you should have more space for me. No, I'm moving because the people who own my flat are coming back. I wonder who did it? It wasn't me! It might not have been any of us. You're lucky you're leaving. At least you won't get accused every time something bad happens. Yeah. Are you getting nervous about living on your own? Can't wait. You shouldn't have gone through my bag. Your phone was ringing. Look, come on, we're meeting this date agent in ten minutes. Oh, come Tracy, on. I told her I couldn't look at anything today. You've got to let me come. No, it wouldn't be fair. Look, this really isn't about you moving in with me. OK, don't go on. But I still want to come and look at them with you. Please, Cam. Pretty, please. <laughs> you can be as cute as you like, girl. It's not going to happen. And I do the talking, OK? I don't want you getting lippy with the estate agent. <gasps> Me? Lippy? I shall be on my very best behaviour. You'll be able to introduce me as your perfect foster daughter, a lovely, quiet girl who never shows you up in public. Choosing flats than you are at turning up on time. Tracy. <sighs> Shall we go in? Right. I wish I could draw like that. But the front door's not the right place for it. Why do people do graffiti? Maybe they want to make their mark. Like when dogs were in a lamppost. Something like that, but with pictures. So, oh, that's everything. I'll um, leave you to look round on your own. She's only being smiley because she wants you to take the flat. I've seen her laying the pain pool about one hundreds of times. Tracy, I quite like this place. We don't want to live somewhere like this. We? Jenny, before I leave, can I wear in a lamppost? <laughs> what do you want to wear in a lamppost for, Maxie? To make a mark so you don't forget me. So, what do we think? We think I like it. Would you still like it if it had damp? Well, no. I, I can assure you, Cam, there's no... damp. How did you know that was there? The wallpaper's bubbly. Sorry, Martha, it's a no. Look, it's, it's nothing a roll of wallpaper won't... Right. Shall we move on to the next property? <laughs> How do you know all that stuff? Mum and I moved 
around a lot. You get to know what to look for. Adele's leaving soon, and something that Maxie said made me realise that when she's gone, we won't have anything to remember her by. So we want you to come up with some ideas for how we can remember you once you've left. Like movie stars putting their hands in concrete. That's the idea. Mm. Uh, Adele, me and Jenny thought you should be project leader. Cool. Give us a shout when you've got something. I have got a wicked idea. And I guarantee there's no damp. Let's start in the kitchen, shall we? I guarantee there is no damp. Don't be taken in by Mrs Smiley. <laughs> And then we draw around each other to get the shape. Everyone adds in their own detail and we end up with a mural that's a really good record of who's been it. And you can add to it as more kids come and go. A commemorative mural. How posh are we? I'm sorry, it's no good. Next. Tracy, I like this flat. <sighs> My bedroom's miles too small. We need something bigger. That's not your bedroom. It's going to be my study. Cam's going to foster me any day now. So we need a place with big second bedrooms with a sweet shop next door. Do you have anything like that? Um, We're not looking for places with big second bedrooms because A, I still haven't decided whether I'm fostering you and B, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. You'll get money for looking after me. That'll make up the difference. Um, I'll be in here. Look, I can't take on the extra expense of a larger flat because of something that might happen in the future. Well, decide about it now then. You've had ages to think it through. I still need more time. How much more? Months? Years? How do you think I feel? You're stringing me along all the time. Oh, it's not like that, Tracy. I'll just get Martha to foster me then. It's obvious she hates kids, but at least I'd have a home. Because I'm not going to get one with you, am I? I want to go back to the dumping ground. Oh, Tracy, wait. Oh, have you got any small change? Um... Jenny, I... You no, know, it's funny. If someone hadn't done graffiti on our door, you'd never have come up with the idea for a commemorative mural. Keep still, Maxie! You're mean, you're cruel, and you're nasty! Ryan, finish Maxie, would you? Tracy, wait. I've waited long enough. And if I never set my eyes on you ever again, that'll be ten years too soon. What's happened? Oh, we had a huge bust up about me fostering her. Let's go inside. I can't. I need some time to think. Forever. People will stop noticing me, and then one day I'll disappear altogether. I know there's a family out there for you, Tracy. You're starting to sound like an pain. Sorry? You'll have to eat a lot more spinach before you can shove me. Do you want to borrow me sticky tape? Sorry, are you busy? Yes. Uh, no, uh, is, is, is everything all right? No, not really. Uh, come to a decision about Tracy. Uh, uh, come in. I really thought you were going to be the one to rescue me. I don't know what will happen to me. I really thought this time 
You will come and save me. Hi. Hi. Heard you and Tracy had a row. Yeah, I've come to make it up to her. If she'll let me. Well, I'll leave you to it. Tracy, can I have a word? Have two. Bog off. I need your help. I'm really sorry about this morning. I didn't mean to upset you. Would you come and have a look at another flat with me? Forget it. But you're so much better at it than me. If I go on my own, I end up living in some damp, smelly hovel. Please, Tracy. Pretty please. You're just not going to give up, are you? And this is the last room. What do you think? Don't you like it? It's got nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with you, Tracy. It's your new bedroom. For weekends. For always. If you want it to be. Cat! I love it! I absolutely love it! It's the best bedroom anyone can have in their whole life ever! You two seem happy. We are. My foster mother and I have decided we'll take the flat. Oi, Trace, come and finish your bit. Sorry, Dad, I've just got so much packing to do. Cam's finally going to foster me. It's true. <laughs> That's my sister. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe it. I'm finally getting out of the dumping ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be better than even I can dream it. See you, Grace! Bye bye, Gordon. Have a great time. Come on! <laughs> when they say, and they lived happily ever after. But do they?